this is the first time you're using the CVK VibNoiseView software, you will first need to activate the software using the license. Load up the CVK software, you will then see the license window appear, and you will see you will need to enter in a license code. Above the license code is the serial number. You will need to email us this serial number to hotline at campbell-associates.co.uk with this serial number, company name and a contact name. We will then return a license code from CVK to enter into the license code box. Once you've entered this code into this box, press OK and then you will need to restart the software for the code to be applied. The software will now be ready to use. Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your CVK hand arm vibration measurement. To do this, you will need the Vib Noise View software. Okay, so it opens up as a small window. I'm just going to enlarge that. You now need to plug in your Vib indicator. The first thing you need to do is to create a new project. So go to File, New, and then HAV. And arm vibration. Okay, so you'll now see the project window. Um, at the top it says projects um, with information and the first box is a measure with a question mark. I'm just going to rename this file so I'm going to call this test measurement. Okay, so you can fill in this form here input your company details, um, comment created by Anthony. Underneath that you've got this used estimated, so a bit later we'll see that we can estimate values. Um, you can insert your measured uh, objects details into this box. So the type we are going to say it's a cheap drill for this test and cheapy to version 1 and you can enter in the ID and the operator. You can also input data such as the measured location and measurement information. This is then uh, populated onto the report. So in the middle of the screen we have the measures. Um, just below that we have the activities so we can specify certain activities for our measurement, and to the right we have our results. Now I'm just going to look at the icons. We have six icons at the top of the screen. The first one is to open a save project. The second icon is to save the file. And the third is to print the report. Next to that we have the connect icon, so we can connect to the uh, Vib indicator. Uh, we can change the activities, so these are these coloured rows here. We can name these activities and change the colour in. And then we have the calibrate tool. So the first thing to do is just to connect our instrument. So click the connect icon, it then connects, and it loads in the measurements. So the measurements are now populated in the measures field in the centre of the screen, out well, to the left. Now if I go back to the top of the screen where the icons are, I'm just going to change these activities now. So the first activity I'm going to name as drilling wood. The second is going to be drilling plastic. The third is going to be drilling metal. And then the last will be drilling stone. You can change the colours of these if you need, very simple to do, and if you'd like to add further activities, just use the plus icon. So if you haven't used your Vib Indicator in a while, 
and the battery is completely discharged, you might need to reset the time. All you need to do is go to set clock, you click that, and then it will set the clock in the meter. We can check this as well by clicking the read clock and it displays the time and the date that's um, embedded in the meter. Okay, so let's look at the measurement. So we go to measures, we have the activities, we can uh, turn these uh, measurements on or off. Uh, we can see the date and the time. We can name this file, Jeep drill test. We can take the ID, Here's the duration, and then we've got four icons here. So from the right hand side you've got the save icon, you can export this measurement, and you can delete this measurement. But what we want to do is just to view the graph of this measurement. So when I click that icon, we see a new window appear, and here we can see the level, um, so the measures, um, millimeters per second squared, value going up the screen, so on the vertical axis, and on the horizontal axis, we have the time, which is increasing. So on the far right hand side, we have the trends, which is our vector sums and our x, y, z uh, values there. Now if you look at the icons along the top, we have the change activities icon. We have the drop down to select different activities. So I'm going to select drilling plastic. And what I want to do now is add these activities to this measurement. So I'm going to select on this measurement. So if I click the plus, I can select and highlight an area. And this is now the drilling of the plastic. I can then say this next section is drilling of the metal. If I now take the stone and just highlight the last section, We've now got the yellow for drilling stone. That was a mistake, I need to get rid of that, so I just select the delete tool, and then just delete that marker. You have tools such as the zoom in tool, where you can zoom into an area. You can use a slider tool for left and right. You can also use the dropper tool, where you can see the actual level at a known point and you also have the reset zoom. A nice little feature in this software is that you can actually copy this image. So you can copy this graph to your clipboard, which enables you to, to then paste this into Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna close that window for now. So I'm just gonna uh, turn off the uh, top measurement, the drilling off the wood. I'm just gonna untick that, and I'm gonna untick the last one as well for the drilling of the stone can move that column if I need. So in here you've got the activity, the measured time, the estimated time that you could put in there. You can look at the left hand value, the right hand value, and uh, which uh, direction of the hand was worse. You've also got the A8 value here, and you've got your EAV and your ELV. At the moment you can see that we can use this, uh, perform this measurement, this activity for quite a long time. So uh, if we're looking at the drilling of the plastic, we can use this for up to three hours before reaching our action value. The limit value is 12 hours. And then you can see for metal, it's much longer, which is not realistic of course, but you could use that for 12 hours before exceeding your action value. You can insert an estimated value where we can actually get an estimated report. So we could say you're going to perform this task for 40 minutes and 10 minutes of this. So when you populate these fields, if we go to the results table, we can then see the estimated values. You'll see that the duration is the total of the two, the drilling of the plastic and the metal. So we can look at this measured data. You can then see the measured level for the left hand and the right hand. And you can look at the, uh, the dose over the eight hours. Here then it specifies the EAV, the action value, and the time, the ELV, the limit value. Below that is a graph, 
and below that is also the actions required, which are none because we've not exceeded any A8 value. You can also add comments to the report. So to print a report of this, it's very quick and simple. Just click the printer icon and there you have it. You have a full report. You can in fact change the logo if you would like to. We just go to settings, go to customer logo. Here you can enter the company name and just below that you can enter a new logo. So as you can see, using the software is very simple, fluid and easy to use.